Hey everyone, this is Ethan for Ethan's Tutorials, and today we will be um, writing an XML document with Dreamweaver CS3. This is really, really simple. It's a beginner's thing. Thanks to Tutvid for giving me the idea for this tutorial. Uh, check him out at youtube.com slash tutvid. But uh, we'll be writing XML today. XML is a really simple language. Um, because you make your own tags. Now, if you don't know what a tag is, a tag is something like in HTML where you say you're starting the head and you're closing the head. So it's a label for something that's uh, that you're making, and then you put information inside of that. So if you're handy with with uh, HTML, you'll be good with XML because it's really really easy, and you can make your own tags. So today we're just going to do something really simple and uh, organize music and just put in some information. So you can see I've created, I've gone to File, New, and XM, Blank Page, and then XML Document. Click Create. So you see you have the XML version 1.0 encoding UTF. Uh, 8 and that is just for the browser so it knows what to read the XML as so let's start out by putting in a music tag pressing uh, enter return on the Mac uh, a couple times and then ending it okay I'm gonna put some spaces in between okay so now I'm gonna go under music we're gonna label different genres of music so I'll go rock. Then I'll close the tag. Then I'll do uh, hip hop. I don't know. I don't listen to hip hop, but um, and then we can do jazz. We'll just I don't know. I'm just picking random ones. So there you go. I'm gonna delete these extra spaces. Okay. So now I'm gonna put some spaces between those tags. Okay, so now under rock, I'm going to press tab a second time, and then I'm going to say musicians. I'm going to end that, and then inside of that, I'm going to press tab a third time, and I'm just going to go one, um, Mr. Dude, I don't know, I'm just putting in random names, two, some random stuff okay now I've ended musicians uh, under and then I'm gonna go after musicians let's do another one we'll label this one songs and you can just label put in different songs so song one Song two, and you know what? I'm gonna make these separate tags, and then you can put like the file in there. So then I can uh, under there, I can go to hit tab again and type in song one dot mp3. So you can p insert the mp3 file. So under here for song two, I'll make that a tag two end it and end it in that do song two dot mp three. This is this is just examples. So song one you could replace as some a real song. So now I'll just um <clears throat> copy that since I want to do pretty much the same thing for each one. So in hip hop I'll paste and then jazz I'll paste so you can see we have lots of organized XML and actually you can save it let's say music dot XML save preview in Firefox
Sorry, sometimes if you don't have a Firefox window open, it might take you a little bit, but. And you can see that your XML file appears in um, fi uh, Firefox. Now, this is, XML is really good for when you're coding with things like PHP or and you're doing some or Ajax or something like that, and you're doing some kind of interactive website or data data website, so you can access uh, XML information and write and have it write XML information that can be read by an API or something like that. So. Thank you for watching. I hope you like the camera feature that I've added so you can see me talking. Uh, if you like it, put a comment under there. If you don't, put a comment under there. If you don't care, don't write anything. I don't care. Do whatever. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like my tutorials. There's plenty more where that came from at ethanstutorials.com. It'll take you to my blog, and there are lots of archives with previous tutorials for you to check out. So thank you for watching. See you guys next